Thanks very much for tuning in to today's broadcast. We trust that our service today has been encouraging and faith building and that you will continue to look forward to a future broadcast every Sunday at 7.45 a.m. and every second and fourth Friday at 7 p.m. Our Good Friday will be at 6 p.m. And of course, this is on YouTube and on Facebook, so if you don't make it at those times, you can feel free to log in anytime afterwards. And don't forget to share. As we are about to close today's session, I ask again, what deadly darts are the devil hurling at you? Despite how fierce or fiery the darts of the enemy may be against us, let's wield our shield of faith. Right now, our world is in crisis, our country is in crisis, and many individuals are in crisis. Today, our nation and the world are called to pray. Remember that the Lord is nigh unto all them that call upon him, to all that call upon him in truth. He says, I am a God at hand, said the Lord, and not a God afar off. It is good for me to draw near to God. I have put my trust in the Lord God that I may declare all thy works. I want you to join me together in lifting our shield of faith today. Dear God and have a loving Father, I pray for deliverance for all those who are in any kind of spiritual bondage. Whatever is the source of this bondage, whether it is a generational curse, whether it is an involvement in occult practices, whether it is that they have opened doors through promiscuity or self-inflicted curses or curses imposed upon those who have had an authoritative relationship with them. We pray by the blood of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Spirit that all those bondages will be broken. We pray for those who are sick among us, that you will minister your healing touch, your healing virtue unto them. You were indeed wounded for our transgressions, bruised for iniquities. The chastisement of our peace were upon you, and today we declare that with your stripes we are healed. We are really concerned about those who are bereaved in our midst. We know that you are the God of all comfort who is able to comfort all those who are bereaved and all those who are afflicted and that when they are comforted, they too will comfort others, particularly those who have, have lost their children at this time. There are those who are struggling with sin and who are struggling with the worldly allurements and who are being distracted and drawn away from their commitment to you. We pray, Lord God, that you'll give them victory over these challenges in the name of Jesus. We pray for marriages today, even now as people are locked in at home. Uh, there are many marriages that are strained, some marriages that are broken. We pray for healing and restoration in those relationships. Those who have drifted away will be drawn back home in in the name of Jesus. We pray for our church leadership, national and local, that you will provide us with continued spiritual protection and divine guidance. Give our national leaders extra wisdom as they navigate through this pandemic and this economic uncertainty. Give divine guidance to us for a correct response to the impact of social distancing and the requirement to, to not be gathering together. Help us to remain connected in many different ways and to minister to those who are dispossessed in our midst and those who are really in difficult circumstances in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray that we will have economic recovery after this period particularly for those who have lost incomes because of this pandemic. Maybe they have lost their jobs. Maybe they are in self-employment and, and their businesses have had to be closed. Lord God, there is no situation. You are the restorer of the breach. There is no situation that is beyond your ability to recover. We pray for healing for those who have fallen sick because of this pandemic and protection of those of us who are not sick. Calm our fears, dear God. Fill us with hope and joy and peace as we continue to trust you. Strengthen your global church. Reveal to us how we can partner together to reach the needs of those around us, the physical, emotional, and spiritual needs. Use this pandemic to pave the way for spiritual renewal. We want your glory and power and healing to be on display. Let your glory fill the world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.